Hey, it's the Scotch Test Dummies. We got Pikesville Rye. Boom, and I just said this shirt looks like it's got a hole into my soul. Rye whiskey, rye whiskey. <laughs> I can play it again. Pikesville, you know what we're going to do? We're going to test it! Let's test it. Scott, we are back. We got a Pikesville rye. We're really digging on the rye recently. We got some uh, some Riedel glasses, these spirit glasses. Pikesville straight rye whiskey. And again, we're still now. We're not getting paid by Riedel glasses. Nope, nope. nope. We we got some as samples. We asked for them. We thought the best way to do it was really just to use them in a few videos. Sure. This is the spirits glass, which is more designed for nosing right. and for bourbons or whiskeys. Well, we are at a tasting, we are at a scotch tasting at a restaurant and it just so happened at our table was a, uh, a Riedel rep, a Riedel rep. Riedel rep. I like it. And yep. he said you want to try these. Also, you had mentioned in the other episode where we first brought these out of the box that they they seemed or felt fragile yes. to you and you were worried they would break and I teased you, you know, and then we talked about crushing them at a wedding. As we were putting them back, I was reading on here because it says dish, dishwasher safe, and then I happened to come across this functional and stylish for spirits served neat. And what they talk about is that uh, they certify that these glasses, their glasses, or at least this, this whiskey glass, dishwasher proof, and it talks about it's safe for up to 1,500 cycles. And in normal usage, this corresponds to a lifespan of 10 years without any visible deterioration of the glass surface. And the restaurant we were at um, were using these glasses. So clearly, I mean, that's something they're looking for is a, a strong quality glass. They're not hand washing. And uh, so as much as I think it feels delicate and refined, I believe it's extremely tough. Although if you stomped it at a wedding, I think it would I break. think it's going to break. Yeah, but it'll last 1,500 cycles in yes. a dishwasher. All right, so rye, Pikesville, what's the story on this? Uh, Pikesville, this is a straight rye whiskey. It's not a bourbon that's, that has a heavy rye mash bill. Hmm. It's 110 proof, so gotcha. 50, 55% ABV. Beautiful. Great Made, math. Distilled at Heaven Hill Distillery in Bardstown, Kentucky. We love that. Bart is in there. Aged at least or six or years. Or really? Yeah. Now we had, the thing is, we've had so many people that recommended the Riceville, the Riceville, the Pikesville. You got to get the Pikesville. We've been doing rise. Rise are popular. We're going to be knocking some rise out. Knocking and then we're going to be doing a couple of, maybe maybe a couple of rise shootouts because we got so many. Huh. We do. I've been begging them to do a rise shootout. Matter of fact, I and told I said, them we, we got to get a couple done first. We got to get at least the Pikesville done. Right. I, I got a little excited. You guys know how I get when I get excited. I was saying we could do a 10 bottle yeah. shootout. He was like, Are you out of your mind? We're going to break it into like four or five bottles. <coughs> Be reasonable. And I was like, Okay, you're right. I'm wrong. <laughs> and he, he was right. I had them all lined up. I was like, Look at this. We can throw in a Sazerac. We can throw in the. Uh, the, uh, oh, what do we got? We got Wood, Woodford Reserve Rye. Ooh, the rye. Wild Turkey Rye. Wild now, Turkey 81, Rye. 81. Blue Light Rye. A bullet. I call it Bullet. We're going to be doing next week should be the Templeton Rye. Templeton. Six year. Yeah, you got the Michters. The Michters in there. Sazerac. Right. The Corsair Rhymageddon. Rhymageddon. Oh, one of my favorites. So I think that's, a, well, we've done the, um, we don't have it here, the Pikesville Rye. Right. There's Rittenhouse Rye. Knob Creek Rye. Well, we got Pikesville. What did I say? Oh, said, yeah. yeah I meant Rittenhouse. Yeah, you meant Rittenhouse. I meant Rittenhouse. Right. Knobs, yeah, Knob Creek Rye. Right. Um, so, a whole bunch of rye. Yeah, yeah, you're right. There's just rye, 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 baby. We're digging the rye. Yeah. So, on the nose, and I know I've got this in my notes. You know what I also thought? I'm Bart, you're Scott. Sometimes there's brand new. We've got That's a true. lot of brand new viewers, and I've noticed that uh, we should probably do that in the open a little bit. The nose, I get a tremendously sweet rye on the nose. Um, huh. Look at this right there. Boom. Yep, I concur in my notes. Sweet. <laughs> oh, you got a lot of notes too. Like yeah. Like two. I know. And well, it hits you on these base levels. Sweet nose. 
you know, it really is. It's not like a, 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 a loaf of bread rye. It's a sweet, candied, almost a sugar water sweet. It's not biting. It's not punching me in the nose. A lot of ryes will give you a strong nose. This one's a little bit more definitely leaning sweet rye side. Well, I've got after this uh, initially on the nose that there wasn't that much of the rye, and I was almost getting more caramel mm -hmm. and almost a bourbon note. But as this sat out for 10 to 15 minutes, then the dill started to show itself. I can see that. And I want to add a drop of water in here. I got a feeling that when I add a drop, it's going to change the nose. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. That 55%. Right. But I get a almost an orange zest, lemon, citrus sweetness. Yeah, yeah, there's a, yeah, definitely that zest, lemon, lime, orange. Hmm, very much so. Mm. Very nice, neat on the mouthfeel. Comes in and saturates your taste buds. Buttery cream. Okay. That orange zest sweetness, the pepper spiciness, black pepper. 100%. I get that second. I had a more interesting note for me on this is in the forefront. I got a cola. A little bit of a cola. And then it spice kicks in with that, with that pepper cola. rye. Mm -hmm. Cola. Cola. What do you mean cola? Imagine. Cost of living increase? <laughs> very interesting, but no. I mean like an RC Cola, Co like a Coca-Cola, Coca -Cola. right. It's got that kind of cola, not, not overly sweet though, but a little bit of that cola. Then I get a pepper rye kick, and then it sweetens up for me. And it sweetens up into a little bit of a, a little burnt caramel, and then a little bit again of the cola comes back in. For me. Let so me you've, used, you've used the cola, like a flat cola and cola a couple of times. I have. I don't, I don't know that I've ever gotten those notes. I don't remember the other one I did it for, but I do remember it came up there as well. Me now, see. to me, when I added the water, it makes it a little bit better in that more of the, the dill, the rye notes start to come out. Just like you said, you figured water would, would change it a little bit. And it definitely does. <clears throat> I've got that the spiciness actually comes out a little bit more with it as well. Yeah, my nose actually had to back off a little bit. I took too deep. So the water definitely opens the nose up on this one. You're right, there is the dill now. Yep. You know, I almost get, and this sounds crazy, but almost, uh, not the watering kind, but almost like a cut fresh onion. But I don't mean this super strong, but just like that fresh... Dill is right in there, though. Maybe it is the dill, like you're cutting that dill up. Yeah. Um, Maybe a green onion. The aftertaste, a great aftertaste on mm, this. It really, right. it really hangs with me and stays in there. I'm still tasting it now. It hangs around for a little bit. Um, mm. And then I've got, um, I added a second splash of water in my tasting notes. And it even, the mouthfeel even gets a little bit better. Uh, the aftertaste is still there. That orange zest is coming out. Right. The spiciness. Mm -hmm. The rye. Right. I get a lot more rye with a little bit of water in there. Mm -hmm. Still get that cola. Still get that zest. I feel like I'm getting a little bit more of that rye grain. Not a rye bread, but a rye grain. You're right, it lingers. It, it, it harkens. It keeps calling back to a little bit of the cola, a little bit subtler rye, a little bit subtler pepper. So it's all kind of lingering around and gently fading. A slight dryness in my mouth. And I'm down to just now a toffee, a cola, and a, uh, like a Werther's caramel. Yeah, some, that, some of that toffee and the caramel still hangs around. It's still in there with it. That's amazing. Uh, because a lot of times with a rye, I won't get that, that mm -hmm. length of linger. Well, with a straight rye whiskey, sometimes you don't get, yeah. And you just get that punch of the rye. This yeah. does not have that, that, that rye pull out your nose hair. No. No, not at all. That, that heavy rye on the palate. You know, the real strong notes. But it's well done. 
And I'm wondering like if it's it. because it's at least six years in there. I don't know. It's, it's definitely bringing me um, something special. Hmm. It's not overly sweet. Um, I, I will admit I lean toward a sweet rye. I really like a sweet rye. Um, it's that cola and nutty kind of ness going on. I have not seen your score. I'm saying a 90. 92. Hmm. I do like it. Well done. It's a very good record. I mean, no wonder a lot of people were recommending it. Um, is it worth it? $50. I think. 40, wow. 45 to 50. It is. It is. That's expensive for a rye. Um, well, a lot of the rides I'm picking up that are in love are Well, 30, you can 35. get the 25 to $30. Yeah, and they're the beautiful rides. So this is a little bit more expensive well, on the rye. They're, they're, I know they're which one you're referring and they're to. Gore, they're it's beautiful and they're several. It's good. It's not beautiful. It is beautiful. <laughs> uh, because there's a couple I'm thinking of. Yeah. This, um, is, this is more beautiful. This is subtler. It's definitely, I will say, more refined. Mm -hmm. Um... That surprised me. It's a little bit higher price point, but yes, worth it. I agree. I think it's worth it too. You know, I think like you're saying, there are some that are cheaper that are that are good rise, but even um, you know we got into the Whistle Pig Ten, and it's a higher priced rye. But the the subtleties and some of the flavors and stuff that you get with it, I think definitely put put it, this and it ahead of some other rye, but the others are are a better value. Is what I'm saying. Better value. I personally dig rise over most bourbons. Not all, but most. So I'm definitely. I love my rise. This is a nice one. I'm still. It's it's aged a little longer. I'm still a little bit surprised at the cost, but it's worth it. Mm -hmm. I um, agree. It's worth it, and I kind of like the bottle. This little shaved front thing. <laughs> it makes it real fun to pick up. <laughs> this is stupid, I know. But I love picking it up because it's like ergonomic. My hands wrapping around like in a glove feeling motion and my thumbs on that straight flat part and I'm just like, I can pour this. I can pour it like a boss. And I love that. <laughs> That's awkward, childish maybe, and dumb. But I like the way the bottle feels in my hand. So We have a new Patreon mm. supporter that we need to recognize. Mm -hmm. This is a name mention. I'm going to let you bring it up. Now, while you're bringing that up, I want to say we don't talk about our Patreon a lot, and we're still kind of feeling our way through Patreon, to be quite honest. We feel like we need to do more, like, like uh, impromptu episodes that are only available to our Patreon backers. We've done a few of those, like behind-the-scenes things. Mm -hmm. So if you're interested in it, here's what Patreon is for those that don't know. It's kind of like a... Uh, a microfunding site that allows you to go uh, donate as little as a dollar an episode, or you can even do a fixed cost. Mm -hmm. um, and then we put out officially eight episodes a month. So that would give us eight dollars in a month. So, um, but that helps us fund the lighting, the camera, the computer work, um, the even whiskey. purchasing the whiskey. So, um, and it helps us bring the show. So if you're a fan, Please go check out Patreon. We're Scotch yeah. Test Dummies on Patreon. Um, and we are going to try maybe in 2017 to come up with something that rewards our Patreon followers a little bit more. We've been talking about it. Yeah, we need Yeah, we need to. We need to. You're giving us, you're helping us bring the show out. We want to we want to figure out something that we can give to you and we're working on that now. Uh, please subscribe, but who is this Patreon? Uh, uh, Bryce Swiggum. Br love the name, Swiggum. I'm wondering if that's your real name. If it is, sweet. That is a sweet, sweet name. If it isn't, Swiggum would be perfect for the Pikesville Rye. Mm, yes. Swiggum some Pikesville Rye. <laughs> so, thank you for supporting us. Now, I would say that you said, you, know, you, you can give like a dollar an episode. You can give five dollars an episode. You can give a dollar for the month. Yeah. If you want to. Yeah, you can cap it off. And you can give $1 for one episode once a month, and that's it, if you want to. You could, sure. Yes. Yeah, I mean, anything helps us out. Um, 
We've mm-hmm. got we've got a couple of well we've got one Patreon that gives like three dollars an episode yeah. for four episodes right max right so mm-hmm. instead of saying three dollars you know for the whole month and some you know you can they can do it I for, think you can do a flat rate too probably I'm sure yeah. Yeah. and then mom even told me I needed I was limiting and I put one on and it even says you might be nuts but mom made me put one on that's twenty dollars twenty dollars an episode you know what there could be Bill Gates loves yeah. our show yeah. and decides bam. I'm giving him 20 an episode, which would be nothing to him. Absolutely nothing. It'd be like throwing a quarter at us. Yeah, exactly. Not even that. Like a, yeah. uh, like a nickel. Here's a nickel. Have my nickel. Yeah. Uh, Tim Cook, here's, your new, here, here's just some new MacBooks for you. Boom. Wow. I need that. Actually, I'm looking at, at probably needing. Uh, I'm, I'm envious of your MacBook. Mm-hmm. You get a lot of work done, and you're mobile. Mm-hmm. I get stuck in my office and I get in trouble from the spouse. <laughs> Where you been? You're down in your cave. I'm sorry. Oh, don't watch that part, honey. All right, what else? What say you? That's it. Boom. Pikesville Rye. Go buy it. Buy it. So Riedel glasses, the spirits glasses, strong, tough, Austrian. Scotch it, you Scotch gods. Cilantro. Dummies. Dummies. <laughs>